Greetings, I am Diane Cox. Welcome to my channel. Moonfire Magic, Cosmic Love Star on Rumble. Um, I'm a bit late with this July uh, tarot or card guidance. Don't know why, got no excuse. Just been having a great time. So um, let's take it from today, shall we? The good sacred number seven, July the 7th, I'm doing this. And again, it's guidance for people who come across this that just need a little, uh, just something to stimulate their mind, their thoughts, their meditations. Okay. And we're doing a lovely guidance for July 2023. All the energies that come into our lives and what we may or may not expect. That looks like the significator. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that significator just came out there. The nine of lovely ones. And this is the story of Jason and the Argonauts. And he's been on a wild adventure. And he's just coming back home victorious, getting the golden fleece. And yet he has to pass through these clashing rocks. <laughs> it's like the last trial something else he has to do before he gets home. He has to pass through these clashing rocks. Uh, and so the Nine of Wands is like, oh, you just think you're at the finishing line. And then uh, it seems you're not. And you've just got something else to do before you get home to the safety of your um, <laughs> preferred place of being. So that's an interesting start for July. And then we have the crossing that, the two of... Um, pentacles okay here we have Daedalus and Daedalus is um, there with his skill and his um, decision to become a master craftsman you know Daedalus as you see in this um, card invented evidently the axe and the um, forget what that is <laughs> anyway he, he designed these um, wonderful tools and then obviously went on to design a lot of very sought after toys and stuff and inventions. So the Nine of Wands, okay, you've got something to, a little kind of obstacle to get on with. But um, crossing that is, rem remember, you've got skills, you've got talents. You've got talents that you're using. Uh, you're developing. You, you probably already have some talents and it's just a reminder to just carry on and uh, go with your flow, go with your development and recognize and acknowledge that which you have achieved and uh, just, you know, carry on with the, with the flow. So what is the overarching card for J July 2023? We have, ooh, I say the Ace of Swords, Athena. Okay, the Goddess of Fairness, Justice and Truth with the Ace of Swords. Okay, there could be some very interesting uh, discussions going on for you. Uh, you could be having a really uh, sharp, incisive kind of plans or, um, like I say, exchanges with people. The Ace of Swords is the uprush of air, of ideas. Have you got some great ideas you want to put into practice? Um, are you going to share those ideas? Is there like an upwelling of communication? What do you need to communicate this month? Is there something that really needs communicating? Something that really needs saying and expressing and being outward? So the overarching card, okay, a bit of a communication and like decisive communication. You know, don't mince your words. She is the warrior and she's carrying a rather large sword. So that could be you, I would like to think so, or you might be on the receiving end of such things. I actually think it's like us because, you know, that's the way I see it. And as I say, I have the tech. So um, what's the root here? Oh, okay. The root is the six of cups. So learn from the past. Um, reflect on how you've got here. And that can be a very positive thing, how you've got here, how you want to go ahead, how you want to manifest this two of pentacles, this, uh, uh, you know, kind of doing what you're good at and acknowledging what you've done is interesting. So the six of cups, uh, this is obviously Psyche and um, she is 
kind of uh, thinking about how she lost the love of Apollo. Not Psyche, is it's Persephone. Um, I'm thinking of Eros and Psyche, Apollo and Persephone. So um, she's wondering how did she how did she mess up this great relationship she had with um, Apollo? She looked upon his face when he told her not to, because her gossiping sisters didn't trust Apollo, and so made Persephone not trust Apollo herself. So she looked upon his face. He went off, and now she's sat on a rock with her bridal bouquet uh, of hope um, dashed away. And she's thinking about, reflecting on, how did I get here? Okay, what steps... And, and I often think with this, um, this card of nostalgia, I often think it's like a card of, okay, what, what have you learned from the past? What do you not want to repeat? What do you not want to do again? And how best going forward? Obviously, uh, a retrospect is a great thing. But this is about, okay, we all need to look at ourselves and go, what do we need to do here? What is What have I learned from this? What have I got to do? Bearing in mind the nine of wands is the significator and going through just a little bit of another test, um, you know, and a little bit of an obstacle before you get to where you want to. Uh, what's in the past? Okay, Daedalus is here again, the three of pentacles. Um, People, uh, this is where Daedalus's reputation is um, kind of going before him. People understand he's a skilled craftsman, and they're coming to him uh, to, for you know to pay him and uh, get him to make them all kinds of wonderful wares. Uh, so it's a card of recognition again about where where you've got to and actually accepting. It can be obviously because pe this is a card of people giving. Uh, money it can be kind of an income kind of thing but it can also be just being recognized and people coming to you for um, advice or knowledge or what you're producing so that's in the past which builds up on actually the six of cups and the two obviously the two then the three uh, what's in the future this is going to be interesting um, for July how lovely Aphrodite rises with her cup of love her cup overfloweth oh the potential two aces in this reading aphrodite and athena the goddess of kind of war justice truth and um aphrodite how lovely is that so in the future we're looking at um for july uh love you know a, a nice upwell of love and creativity it's cups it's water it's intuition it's healing it's kind of um connection to divine and all that is so the uprush of aphrodite in the future is uh, in the future position is is lovely looking forward to some uh, loving time, uh, loving kindness, compassion, and looking forward to uh, maybe again with these pentacles expressing your creativity. Uh, that is very pleasant. And um, like I say, all the emotional stuff, it's the upwell of emotions, feeling emotional about something, feeling if you use it correctly, you know, feeling positively emotional just letting your emotions out letting them come to the surface okay which is always useful and then they can be expressed and then moved on so what do we find in the us now position oh the knight of pentacles how very nice we know who this is don't we samwise gamji okay get on with it um not flashy just stable reliable, loyal, um, hard-working, in touch with the land, um, in touch with fruits, vegetables, gardens, the outdoors, and a faithful energy. So feel this month of July that you're, you are in a, a, a stable mode, you know, uh, pentacles are earth, and you've got this kind of ability just to be just to be the, again, I often say this, be the best version of yourself. And you, with the Six of Cups, you can reflect on what that is. Maybe when you have been at your best or maybe when you weren't at your best and what you learned from that. So Knight of Pentacles in the where do we find ourselves? Loyal, 
reliable, stable. Um, I kind of do want to use the word plodding <laughs> because it is, you know, it's a plodding kind of energy. Just plod along and, you know, just, you know, one step at a time, just be there and do it and enjoy those orchards and the lovely uh, uh, mother nature. Um, how do other people see us? Oh, God, this is great. <laughs> how lovely is that? How do other people see us? Like the King of Cups, okay? An authority in our emotions or our creativity, our healing ability, our, our um, like I say, an authority leading, leading the way, doing our work, doing the work, you know, the big work of being and, and just kind of, he's holding that cup. You know, maybe people see us as someone that they can come to, that they can get advice from they can get counseling from it's a you know it's a, a feeling again another you've got the the ace of cups and the king of cups that's a lot of um watery energy and water um in astrology is like the unconquerable element uh water always finds a way whether it's moving mountains or putting out fire or um, morphing itself from a liquid to a steam or whatever, or, or solidifying itself into ice. Water is a beautiful element and it's so versatile and there's so much you can do with it. Um, obviously water also can be, um, <laughs> kind of, if we feel like we're, we're um, treading water, it can be difficult, but this isn't that energy at all. It's about people seeing uh, us as counsellors, uh, people we can we that can give guidance. Um, I would also say living our truth, living our living our word, okay, and living our light, being the light. So, um, what's our hopes and fears? Okay, so the hopes and fears here is four of um, wands, which is quite interesting. So the four of wands, as you can see here, is. Um, Jason and the Argonauts, he's gathering together his um, uh, kind of entourage, his team, to go and get uh, the uh, Golden Fleece. So in this picture today, it kind of feels like a hopes and fears is to get on with it. Do stuff. Do the stuff that you're planning. Um, make those things, um, those plans manifest. Get on with it. Just kind of like, okay, let's just... Um, yeah, let's just kind of, let's gather it together. Let's do something. Let's act, you know, wands is fire. So let's act on it. Let's, let's, you know, let's kind of gather what we need, make a plan, put it into action. And in the background there, he has the um, Argo and he's ready to set sail on his mission. So maybe it's about set sailing um, and having everything that you need and just checking that you have everything you need before you set sail. Now that can that can be, you know, any aspect of life. These don't have to be big, massive things. It might just be something that you're planning on doing, just, you know, decorating your bedroom or, you know, doing something um, in the garden or it can be a project, it can be like a business thing, but, you know, think the, 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 the kind of range, it doesn't have to be huge. We don't want that pressure on us, you know, we want to just enjoy our lives and not always be constantly putting pressure on ourselves to be, um, you know, always achieving. I sometimes find that quite, um, quite overwhelming, you know, all this, all, I mean, I've watched so many things over the years about achieving and being the best and, you know, motivating and unleashing your power and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, can I just sit down in front of the fire and, and watch a video on cats? funny cats <laughs> anyway I digress uh, the outcome of this oh well how lovely how lovely for us six of wands the card of achievement and victory and here we have Jason has um, got the golden fleece after going through hell and high water to to get it and having to slay dragons and fight various beasts um here he is he's victorious he's celebrating that is very nice for july isn't it so it looks like july is going to be a a great month of love emotion healing learning um with the six of cups um being decisive with the ace of swords 
decisive with your words and your conversations and your ideas, communicating clearly, and a lot of healing with this water and the plodding steadfastness of the Knight of Pentacles, um, resulting in the Six of Wands. Well, well, let's see how uh, July pans out then, shall we? Because that looks extremely promising. <laughs>